Okay. I'm going to demonstrate several of the new non-regular exercises. These may only be used in the Rally T Challenge class. But if your instructors are anything like me, they're going to be putting them on the course just to get you used to them. They're a lot of fun and they'll help your dog learn better fronts and better pivots. Non-regular number one, halt, slow forward from a sit. The handler halts, the dog sits in heel position. The handler then commands the dog to heel immediately, moves forward at a slow pace. This must be followed by normal unless it's the last exercise on the course. This is pretty straightforward. Molly, heel. And then return to normal. Good boy. Sit. Non-regular number four. Leave dog, two steps, call to heel, forward. The handler halts and the dog sits in heel position. The handler commands wait a minute, I'm, the handler commands the dog to stay. The handler takes two steps forward and pauses to command the dog to heel as the handler immediately moves forward. The dog must catch up to the handler and resume heel position. So the key here is you can pause but not stop while you call the dog, then you immediately move on. Ready? Wait. One, two, one heel. And he catches up. Good boy, get it! Did you see him catch up? Wally, come on, here we go. Here we go, ready, sit. We'll try it again, ready? Heel. Wait, one, two, Wally, heel. Yes. Just for fun, you can do this. You can take off in a run as you call your dog. It kind of helps get him excited to catch up with you. Well, he's sit. Wait. One, two, heel! Come on! Make it a lot of fun. These doodles were originally invented to keep the dog interested and get them to speed up as they were doing some of these exercises. Sit. Wait. I'm not going to do the two pivots on this video. Um, I'll do those on something separate. So that's why we skipped over two and three. Number five, call front. One step back, diagonal right, front, finish right forward. While healing, the handler stops forward motion and calls the dog to the front position. Dog sits in front and faces the handler. The handler may take several steps backwards as the dog turns and moves to sit in the front position. The handler then takes one step diagonally backwards and to the right. The dog moves with the handler and sits in the front position in the new location. The next part of the exercise directs the handler to command the dog to change from the front position to the handler's right, around behind the handler and toward heel position. As the dog clears the handler's path, the handler moves forward before the dog has completely returned to heel position. The dog does not sit before moving forward in heel position with the handler. Come here, this is harder to read than it is to do. Come on. Ready? Ready, ready? Heel. Ready, ready? Come front. The dog sits in front the first time. Now I'm going to take a diagonal step to the right. Front. He moves with me and sits. Finish. Get around. Come on, Ollie. Then he finishes to the right and catches up to heel. Ready? Willie. Sit. Heel. Come front. Heel. Get around. Come on. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, and you can take off running and get the dog excited so the dog thinks this is a lot of fun. The other one is finish to the left. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's exactly the same, but you're going to take a diagonal step to the left. Are you ready? Yeah. Come front. The dog sits. A diagonal step. Heel. Front. Good. Finish. And go forward. Ready? Come on, Wallace. You ready? Wally, Wally, Wally. What is your monitor? Here we go. Ready? Come front. Sit. Good sit. Now that's pretty crooked, but it wouldn't be a full um, point off. Front. Now that's a good sit. Finish. Come on, yeah. We
we go. Good. The last one I'm going to demonstrate is the double left about turn. These are two left about turns done with just one or two steps between. This is a lot of fun. Are you ready? Sit. Where's the here? Yeah. About. Try two of them in a row. Yes. Huh? 